Welcome to ON News, Ghana's leading online news source in the headlines. Banker quits job to trade in Kenke. And University of Ghana student sells food on campus to support partially blind mother. My name is Odilia Ntiamwa. Let's settle down now for the details. He quits his banking job to sell Kenki, a local Ghanaian food online. Ebenezer Latte started his online business after a master's program in e-commerce. He indicated Ghana has a 5 billion CD retail market with only 1% of the business online. Ebenezer Latte quit his banking job of 10 years to start an online market in 2015 after studying e-commerce in Shanghai, China. He tells the ONTV online team after the master's program, all his classmates returned to their regular job not using what they had studied. Preparing for his exit and with support from his wife, Eben says he had to downsize his budget and cut out luxuries. His first two clients were his wife's friends who wanted him to shop for groceries. The shopping was done and delivery at no cost. I said I went to my wife's office and she had two colleagues and I said, um, I'd like to start this business. Would you like to be my first two customers? And we just started with them giving us the list of things they would like to order. Um, for us, starting that way was an opportunity to know what people really want, what people buy. And so they gave me two um, separate orders. We went around, got it, and sub delivered it, and they were happy. Market Express has been in existence for a year, and the company already has the bars. Tigo, a leading communications network, has already partnered the startup for payments. I decided to go through the process online to make a purchase. From logging to registration, patrons register online to have delivery services subsidized as well. I asked how the online business in Ghana will look like in the next five years. We are probably five years behind for a number of reasons. The very tech-savvy, adventurous middle class are at the moment either in school or just coming out of school. And so in the next five years, there will be full-blown middle class people who, would want, who are able to use technology-based convenience services. And so the real market takeoff is in five years. Ebenezer Latte Ega has found a way of selling his traditional Ga Kinky online to clients as far as Bermuda. The Kinky can last for more than a year, he explains how. A lot of people have struggled with how do I travel with Kinky, you know, and how do you package it? How do you ensure that by the time you get there is no moldy or whatever? But there are simple Ghanaian, uh, simple food science things that we can do. And one of it is what we, uh, we have with this kinky, which is um, it's both gang kinky and fancy kinky. Um, they are pre-boiled or pre-cooked. They are just vacuum wrapped, so there's no air in it. And then you will not have any fermentation or any moldiness when you are ready to eat it. Eat it. We also visited his house where he had turned his garage into a warehouse. Ebenezer is currently developing an app that will prompt clients to check their stock of groceries after a month. Ghana has a retail market of about 5 billion CDs with less than 1% of that online. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome to Prince Means Properties. I go around the country and I bring you the best property deals in the country. What deals? You will not get it anywhere, but I go around and shop it for you. I have this four bedroom house here, modern architecture. You wouldn't even believe it. It sits on 45 by 110 acre plot. But it's amazing what you will get in this house. Everything is near completion. Buy and finish it up. The deal is hot. Anytime you meet Prince Prince properties, I go around and I, I'm ready 
should bring you the best that you are looking for in the market. So don't waste time. So all these hot deals, they are inside the Lakeside Estate. And in case you have a property that you want to rent or you want to sell, just give me a call. Prince means properties for East Capital Properties on 244 989012. I repeat, if you have a property that you want to sell, just give us a call or want to rent it out. Give us a call on 0244-989012. And let's start talking about these properties. We have 21 of such properties around that we are selling. Rush now because I'm waiting for your call. We are always there to sell your properties for you and to give you the best property deals. Thank you. Imagine for a minute that paying for your education makes your mother go blind because she cannot afford both. What about having to cook and sell on campus because your parents could not afford to pay your way through school? Meet Barbara who faces the uncertainty of seeing her mother go blind after school. Um, currently, like this bowl is going for how much? 55 CDs. 55 CDs. And then this one? This is 35. Mm -hmm. And this also 35. I first heard about Barbara from another University of Ghana student who thought she was doing extraordinary things with an online food business from soups, stews, and shopping for groceries for busy families. She had done different odd jobs to make ends meet for herself at school. Three years ago, when her parents could no longer afford supporting her and three other siblings, they had to get innovative. She initially explored the possibility of shopping for groceries for clients. After a month, she did not get any client forcing her to cook for her clients busy at work. Barbara tells us how she landed the first. She was a student at Gempa and I was very nervous because even for the very first time, she ordered for three different things. She ordered for palm nut soup. She ordered for tomato stew with beef. And then she ordered for contumery stew. And I was like, it's my first time. And she wants three different kinds of things. How I was wondering how she was going to find the taste and whether she would like it and all. But it turned out well and she came back again. At home, she's busy cooking for three different clients, two students and a worker. Two clients with spinach stew while the other settles for tomato stew. In less than an hour, both stews are ready to be distributed to her clients. Having watched her parents struggle through paying her fees, Barbara says she will want to have multiple jobs, but she has multiple fears after school. I spoke to her mother, who has decided to sacrifice her sight for her children's education. And sese mi jai nkwala ne sa anti me me mo me ho kakra ne nka me solve nkwala no problem wi a na me ma hwe na ma sesa me die no Barbara also spoke about her mother's condition it's a worry cuz it looks like she's forgoing a lot of things especially her medication sometimes to make sure that we are okay and then sometimes i ask myself so after i've gotten all the money i want to and all and my mom who has struggled to make sure we are where we are has lost her sight. I mean, how it makes it a bit difficult looking at the situation. On campus, we spoke to one of her clients. We have a class page. So she started doing advertisement on the class page. So she was posting the flyers of Adia Pena. And then I saw it and I also know her. So I was like, let me give it a try. And then for the first time I started to give it a try, it was very, very, very nice. When she completes school by June, the reality of her mother losing her sight and facing raising money for the rest of her siblings to go through school is the reality 
that stares her in the face. Thank you for watching ON News Online. There will be more of this, well, on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are ON TV Online. On Twitter, it's ON TV Online. And then for um, LinkedIn, it's also ON TV Online, together with all the other social media networks. Please join us again for more news right here on ON TV Online. My name is Odilia Ntiamwa.